Keep in mind, if it wasn't for this man, Apple would not be around. I'm not talking about Steve Jobs, although he did help him bring the company to success. I'm talking about Stephen Gary Wozniak, or as some call him, Woz. This is five things you might not know about Steve Wozniak. Woz created the Apple One. You might believe that Jobs had a hand in actually building the first Apple computer, but really it was all Steve Wozniak. Woz went to the first meeting of the Homebrew Computer Club to pitch the idea of the Apple One, asking for investments into the idea. If 50 people pitched $40 each, he could design and build the first Apple One. It was Jobs who ran with the investment site and sold 50 computers to the Byte Shop at $500 each. Woz worked at HP. Everybody needs to work, right? Steve Wozniak was no different. Woz worked at Hewlett Packard in their mainframe computer division for 10 years. In 1971, he met Steve Jobs, who was there on a summer internship. A dial a joke. Millennials might not remember this, but if you grew up in the 70s and 80s, you had phone services that people would call to find out the correct time, weather, news, and more. In 1973, Steve Wozniak created Dial a Joke service in San Francisco, where you would call to get a joke a day. At first, the service was answered by real people, including Woz himself. He used the name Stanley Zebrasuskinski and spoke in an Eastern accent. The service ran for years and received over 2,000 calls a day. The Call to the Vatican Woz was a prankster as well as a tech innovator. When he was at Berkeley, he started playing with the Blue Box, a device that would simulate an operator by generating tones. You could then make a call to anywhere, in some cases, skirt the cost. While doing some testing, Wozniak dialed Vatican City, where he identified himself as Henry Kissinger, on behalf of Richard Nixon at the summit meeting in Moscow. He asked to speak to the Pope, who was sleeping at the time. He called back and got the Pope's translator, who knew this was a ruse because he personally talked to Kissinger prior to the call. Makes you wonder what Pope Francis would do if he got a call from Steve Wozniak today. Wozniak wants to teach. Steve Wozniak wanted to be an elementary school teacher but chose the engineering field. He felt strong about the importance these people had in young students' lives. His father put him in the engineering path as he stated in a 2012 speech. One day I asked my dad, who makes more, teachers or engineers? He told me engineers. I thought, darn, because I wanted to be a teacher. He did ultimately fulfill his dream by teaching some computer classes later in life. From hacker to mainframe designer, jokester, Apple co-founder, teacher, speaker, and even Dancing with the Stars, Steve Wozniak is a person of tech you can get inspiration from. I know I have. I'm Jeffrey Powers. Like what you saw and heard? Let me know by subscribing at Geekazine.